I don't know what this one is. So I know it's a record. Oh. Today I got a surprise record in the mail. We're gonna crack that open. Plus I got some merch prototypes. I'm gonna open that, haven't seen those at all yet. Plus a recent record pickup. All that and more coming up on Friday Night Vinyl. Hi, my name is Frank, it's Friday, that means it's time to kick back, relax, and talk music. Cheers, I got um, Crown and Diet Coke, even though it's in this uh, Jim Beam glass, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers logo on it. Um, again, it's my Friday night beverage, so cheers, 33ers. Love vinyl? Why not tell the world with a Channel 33 RPM t-shirt? All proceeds help this channel continue to grow. Link below this video. I appreciate your support. Channel 33 RPM. First thing I want to show you, a record I bought this week from the Record and Tape Company. Check this out. I'm 50 years late with this one because I just discovered, discovered uh, this album like in the past month or two. This is uh, Baby Huey, the Baby Huey story, living legend. And I discovered it just by streaming music. I, I don't know if it was Tidal or Amazon HD, one of these services that just came up as a recommendation. So I checked it out. And this is an amazing album. I'm sure many of you, if not most of you, are already familiar with Baby Huey. But this was a such ground, such a groundbreaking um, soul album, psychedelic soul. It's got a little bit of rock in it. It's got a little bit of funk in it. Man, it's just so good. And it was really, from what I understand, really inspirational in the hip hop community. I'm, I'm not a hip hop guy, so I can't comment on that other than um, what I heard. So as I said, he only had released one album, and this came out in what 1971. And he died just before this album was released. He died of a heroin overdose. And so it was just one and done sort of deal, which is too bad because this is just, it's so amazing. This was uh, put out by Renault Groove. And Renault Groove always does um, a great job with their stuff. This is a two LP set. The first uh, album is the original album. The second album is some instrumental cuts. And I'll just show you the inside because this is... um really nicely packaged let's see the gatefold and i got record one it's on the turntable so i can't show it to you but what's on this side oh yeah i mean so we just got some images got some information and the second album just it's black wax um some of you guys like the fancier stuff but i'm a fan of just the um just the plain black vinyl there's the label, immaculate, beautiful pressing. This was actually a record store day release um, a couple years back. And it also came with this custom slip mat, which I will probably use on my Technics. Techniques SL1200 turntable. Anyway, if you want to try something different, I recommend the Baby Huey story. And just my journey of musical discovery continues, right? Like I've been getting into jazz. Now I'm getting a bit into soul and funk and that kind of stuff. I love rock. I love metal. But man cannot live by metal alone. Baby Huey. All right. Got some merch here. Some CH33 merch I want to check out. I've teamed up with a graphic artist by the name of Yaren Yarden. And uh, he came up with this design, and it kind of we're working together potentially on some other designs as well. I mean, the way I do it, I usually come up with an idea, or I work with someone to come up with an idea, and I post about it on social. If it gets a good reaction, I go to the next stage, which is making some prototypes because I'm not going to sell anything in the merch store. One that I haven't seen and felt and just make sure it looks good. That's number one. Number two, I won't sell anything that I wouldn't wear or use myself because what's the point in that? So there's a few things in here. I thought this first design by Yarin was pretty cool and you guys seem to dig it. So I figured a, a tryout, um, a prototype and you and I will see together for the first time how this one looks. So some of you already know what I'm talking about here. Let's see, you'll see it before I will, what the heck? There we go. 
How does it look? All right, all right, this is cool. Never mind the digital, listen to analog. Channel 33 RPM. It looks pretty good to me. Like it's hard with all this, all this yellow, right? Like you can see some of the black shirt behind it coming through a little bit, if you can make that out. But it's pretty good. And I was trying to, you know, I was debating what color of shirt to put it on, but I think that looks pretty good. Hold on a sec. All right, I just wanted to. See it there? I just wanted to uh, try it on and, and see how it looked and felt. And you know, is it too much? I don't know. I kind of like it. I, I posted about this on social, and some people didn't quite get it. I mean, obviously, this is um, is uh, inspired by or a ripoff of the Sex Pistols album, right? So that's where that comes from. And I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Okay. Here's something else. This is not something I usually put in the merchandise store, but uh, when I when I tried this out, the design looked cool. This is packaged really well. Oh yes, 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 yes. Wow, that looks cool. That looks better than the T-shirt. Never mind the digital. Listen to analog. Channel 33. RPM. Of course, I do listen to digital, right? But um, it's a fun shirt. So there we go. Cheers. I really like this. What do you think, Yarin? You did a good job on this, man. Got the, like the the matching shirt, <laughs> the matching mug. Drink your coffee in style. I don't, actually I don't drink coffee. I drink tea. But okay, and I go. One more piece of merch. This one I was less sure about. I'm not sure if this one will actually go in the merch store. It's actually better than I thought. Look at this, a sheet of stickers with the um, listen to metal on vinyl. And I was debating whether to go with the matte finish for the stickers or the gloss. I really like that gloss. That looks good. That. That actually looks better than I expected. I mean, something like this would look good on my wall. Stickers there. Um, some people put stickers in their turntable. I don't, but something like this might look good on a turntable. Okay, I might actually put this in the merch store because I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how good this looks. Here, I'm gonna peel one off and we're gonna stick it right here. There we go. I like it. There might be something like you can get as an add-on item if you're buying anything there. The shipping on those four stickers is probably not worth buying them by themselves, but eh, consider it. Anyway, I'm probably gonna add those to the merch store. I'm probably gonna add this. I think I'm definitely gonna add this. That's cool. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna digest this and I'll let you know on the screen here exactly what I've done. Now, Let's open the mail. So here we go. I, I don't know what this one is. Well, I know it's a record. And um, I know it comes from Chris in Michigan, but I don't know what it is. My curiosity is peaked. And I just want to say thank you, Chris, for sending this. Total surprise. I just got a notification that there was something waiting at the post office for me. And I went to grab it the other day. So let's crack this open. It's an F. So it says, Dear Frank, my name is Chris. Chris, thank you so much. I've been following your channel for a few years now. I'm an avid record collector and hi-fi nut who has also enjoyed chatting with others about the latest and greatest in gear, newest records coming out, and vintage stuff alike. I recently decided to start a YouTube channel and I wanted to send you a little gift to say thank you for the inspiration. Awesome, Chris. That's super cool, man. I love when I hear about people um, getting value out of my videos and it's um, super fun when people start their own channels. All right, it says your fun and easy your fun and easygoing approach made me feel like a channel about our hobby and even my tendency to lean towards audiophile gear didn't need to be elitist, stuffy or rude. Yeah, no elitism, stuffiness or rudeness needed. Uh, it gave me great confidence to do a channel that I'd like to see 
and not worry what the hi-fi gurus might say. And that's the whole key, I think, when doing a YouTube channel, and that's my approach. I do the videos, the kind of videos I do are the kind of videos I would like to see and the kind of videos I like to watch. That's number one. And number two, I try to have no pretension. I'm not a pretentious guy. It's like whatever, whatever you want to do is good. If you like it, do it. I try to express that in my videos. So thank you, Chris, for picking up um, on that. He says, I hope you enjoy this little thank you token, and I hope you don't have it already. It's limited edition and a bit tough to find, so my hopes are high. If you have it, feel free to use it as a giveaway for your channel or something of the sort. Warmest regards to you and the family, Chris. From the Vinyl Attack. Okay, I'm going to check out the Vinyl Attack. Maybe I'll leave a picture right here. Here, there's Chris on the Vinyl Attack. I'll leave a link below this video. Vinyl Attack with Chris. Um, okay, since this album is pressed in Canada and sold to him in the States, only to be shipped back to someone in Canada. So, okay. Again, packaged really well. And so it's a hard to find album. And it was pressed in Canada. I don't know what it is. Oh! I don't have this. This is a reissue of Judas Priest, Judas Priest debut, Rockarola. I'm a big Priest fan, a huge Priest fan. I do have Rockarola, but I don't have this particular um, pressing. Yeah, it says made in Canada right on the back. Um, no, I don't have this one. Let's crack it open. Is this the one? I know they put one out for Record Store Day. No, they put out Sad Wings of Destiny, was it for Record Store Day? Yeah, it wasn't Rockarola. So, let us check this version out. I don't mind this artwork. I'm not sure if it suits this record. Um, I didn't care for the original artwork though, like the, the bottle cap for the album cover. I wasn't a fan of that. So this one is an improvement. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so these pictures were originally on the back of this album. Let's check out, let's check out the wax. And, oh, this one's nice. This one certainly does look cool. And I mean, as a Canadian, obviously, I think it's cool that it was pressed in my country as well. So awesome. Thank you, Chris. I look forward to checking out your channel. And dear 33ers, please do check out Chris's channel, The Vinyl Attack. Thank you, Chris. You rock, man. Best of luck with your vinyl, with your um, YouTube channel. And uh, I will be there shortly after I, I'm done recording this video to check out your stuff. Cheers. All right, 33ers, a jam-packed, super fun episode of Friday Night Vinyl. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you dug this video, I'd appreciate a quick thumbs up. Small gestures like that really do help this channel to grow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Let's make it to 30. Where is it? Let's make it to 35K. Dear 33ers, have a good rest of the weekend. We'll wrap up the weekend with a new video on Sunday. Until then, keep on spinning.